Good evening, Notre Dame Academy. I'm Mrs. D'Angelo, and tonight I'm going to read the book called Dear Bear. Katie liked having tea parties. It meant she didn't have to think about the bear. Well, the bear didn't worry her that much. After all, it didn't bother her when she was busy at home. And she could even laugh about it at school. But when she was at home in bed, however hard she tried, she couldn't stop thinking about the bear who lived under the stairs. She had never seen him, but she knew he was there, just waiting to jump out and grab her. Sometimes, huge bear-like shadows would chase her up the stairs. Katie decided to tell her parents about it. She tried her dad, but he was too busy vacuuming. Her mom said, why don't you write the bear a letter and tell him to go away? So Katie took out her pencils and paper and wrote the bear a letter. She put it in an envelope and left it outside the closet door. This is what it said. Dear bear, please go away. Love from Katie. The next morning, the letter was gone. In its place was another one. It was addressed to Katie. It read, under the stairs, Dear Katie, I have taken your advice and gone away. I am in much in need of a vacation from sitting in the closet all day. Love from Bear. P.S. Back on Monday. During the next few days, Katie couldn't stop thinking about the bear on vacation. But when Monday came, Katie didn't want to come home from school. When she arrived home, she found a package in front of the closet door. Katie opened it up. Inside was a little glass dome filled with snow. With it was this card. Dear Katie, just a little present I bought for you while I was on vacation. Love from Bear. P.S. It's nice to be back. Katie showed her dad. How generous, he said. Why don't you write him a thank you letter? After Katie had written her letter, she put it in an envelope and dropped it over the banister. It read, Dear Bear, Thank you for my present, love from Katie. Here it is on my piano. There was no reply the next day, or the day after, or the day after that. Katie started to worry about the bear, so she wrote him another letter. This is what it said. Dear bear, why don't you write to me anymore? Are you ill? Love from Katie. The next day she received this reply. Dear Katie, thank you for your letter. I have had a very bad cold. Please don't worry, love bear. Katie rushed to show her mom. Her mom was very concerned. We'll make him a hot water bottle, some sandwiches and a nice cup of tea. Katie knocked on the closet door. Dear bear, she whispered, are you all right? There was no answer. The next morning, the tray was gone. In its place was a letter. Dear Katie, thank you for the hot water bottle and tea. I am now feeling much better. Would you like to come to tea with me tomorrow afternoon at about four o'clock? Love from bear. Katie read the letter to her parents. I see the bears won again, said her father. He wasn't really listening.
Katie spent all the next afternoon getting ready for her tea party with the bear. She put on her best outfit and even brushed her hair. But when four o'clock came, she wasn't so sure she wanted to go. After all, he was still the bear in the closet. Go on, said her mom. He'll be expecting you. And he was. Dear Katie, I'm fed up with living under the stairs. Can I come and live with you instead? Love from there. I hope you enjoyed the book. Have a great night. Don't forget to say your prayers. Good night, Notre Dame Academy.